Hello friends, welcome to the 46th episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode, we have learned how to use JTable in our component. In this episode, I will show you how to use subcontroller in your component. Okay, so at first we will start from the backend subcontroller, then we will uh, start learning frontend subcontroller. So how we will create subcontroller. So let's take a look. So, so for subcontroller because subcontroller can be more than one so we need a controllers folder so inside this controllers folder we can place n number of subcontroller okay and when we will create the subcontroller the same naming convention we will use like our main controller class controller class then controller keyword after that our controller name that is subcontroller name controller name okay so in this way we will create our subcontroller class so let's uh, take a look in our existing component so we always work with our component com underscore open chat so in the back end com underscore open chat so here uh, we have to create one folders called controllers so we have created this folder now we will create one controller let's say chat subcontroller okay so what will be the file name chat dot php so chat dot php so now um, we have to declare our class and at first we have to restrict outside access by defined underscore j e x -E c or die access deny okay now we will create our subcontroller class so class and then our main controller that is open chat okay so open chat now controller then our subcontroller name that is chat okay now extends controller okay we can copy this one paste now we can create different function so let's create one function public function test so echo hi I am test from chat sub controller so we have created our first subcontroller so how do we call this subcontroller so this is our backend and we normally call our controller by using task so here but if we mention here chat sorry test but this will call the main controller main controller function that is this one is main controller and this function is calling this one so how do you mention the subcontroller to mention the subcontroller we have to mention in the task like here we have to give the main subcontroller dot our our function name so here you can see we are able to call our subcontroller so let's create another method here so public function save echo save chat save ok now if I go to the back end and here you can see I have mentioned our component name option equal to com underscore chat and in the task we have to call like this 
at first the subcontroller then the subcontroller function so our subcontroller is chat so we are calling the chat subcontroller and test function so i can call our new function that is save so enter here you can see we are able to call the save subcontroller so in this way you can create lot of subcontroller in the controllers folder so same thing uh, you can create this subcontroller in the front end also so i will explain uh, in the next video how to create subcontroller in the front end so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you